Hello, my name is Michael O'Keefe, aka The Movie List. If you enjoy this interview and want to hear more top-notch film industry conversations, please press the thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell to stay in the know. So, please tell people what the story of your movie, Che Vida, is about. Uh, Ye Vida is a story about a woman, elderly woman, who, uh, Ida, who come, have to, is forced to go back to her homelands. All the childhood memories start to come to her mind. It's a practically a portrait of a little girl who has to give up his, her culture because of the forced assimilation. We will see this girl happily in, in her, with her family in, in their lands. And then when she's eight years old, she has to go to the residential school. And this isn't in North America either. Yeah, it's, uh, it's happening in North uh, Europe, yeah. in the Sami land. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know any of that. I, I, um, but we'll get to that in a minute. Why was the movie shot in black and white? Why did you want to do that? Oh yeah, I was inspired by uh, two things. Yeah. My previous film <laughs> oh, uh, uh. that I made uh, also about my family. Uh -huh. It was a documentary, mm. and I found a box of uh, 60 millimeter mm. old film material, black mm. and white, and uh, four to three format. It was beautiful, and also uh, I have a lot of like we, my family have a lot of pictures in a family album, the old photography, oh. our, our family for decades ago. Like uh. all the researchers and uh, travelers have been taking photos, so we have a lot of like beautiful photographies uh, uh -huh. from my family so uh -huh. all that inspired me that I want to kind of uh, reclaim those mm. uh, those photos and those images back uh -huh. to us oh it's beautiful <laughs> <laughs> so have a lot of people told you that they had no idea that northern Europe had this indigenous pro yeah. uh, you know uh, issue like uh, you know, lack of resolution yeah, it, unfortunately, people don't know. Not even in Finland. Oh, oh shit. So yeah, so we have this uh, reconciliation, truth and reconciliation pro uh, process mm. just starting. Oh yeah, we've been doing that here for a bit. Yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Um, yeah. And Norway is it was already, and Sweden and Finland has now started mm. the process. So I think this is part of the discussion, my film. Mm. Yeah, and I hope people will will know more. Oh, you definitely spread it in awareness for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, tell me about. Tell me about. You have a flashback structure to this movie mm. too. Why did you want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I actually I wanted to have like three or four time levels at the kind of same time. Um, because I think time. I, when they go to the old uh, house, mm. I think because my family has the same kind of house and yeah. when you, we go there it's like time stops mm. and I really feel them and I hear them walking around <laughs> and I we can feel them still there oh so I think they're like ghosts yeah they're yeah. like ghosts what nice ghosts <laughs> and you don't have to be like scared but you oh. like respect that yeah. they are still existing with us mm. and, and in those places where they have lived our, my ancestors they have been living there mm -hmm. my, my great parents and so on so I, I want like uh, the same feeling that uh, the, all, all these time levels happening mm -hmm. in the same time mm. it was like the first idea very cool so is there a th what do you say there's a thematic in the movie beyond like the indigenous issue is there a theme uh, yeah uh, <laughs> I think there is yeah <laughs> uh, of course this um, forced assimilation is yeah. the biggest right biggest theme but also the respect to the lands and uh, our ancestors because the old great uh, grandmother father mm -hmm. who passed away he's not really passed away He's still there with talking with the girl and uh, uh, yeah, I, I think and a lot of like, symbolic things like uh, what the fishing means to us, what the fishing nets 
mm-hmm. means to us and we are talking about <laughs> <laughs> a okay. lot of fishing. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was the most rewarding thing about making the movie? I I hope it will still is still coming the yeah. reward because I haven't been able to show this movie to my people yet. Oh. There was a, a the whole community was with me making the film. Right. And uh, now I we had the world premiere in Tribeca, New York, and nice. now we're here. Very nice. But uh, not any screening in my my you need home a village. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm I'm still waiting that I get uh, I get to my to show this to my people. Uh, yeah, that'll <laughs> be the most rewarding thing. Yeah, and I think right. so because with the last movie it was the same. Yeah. Uh, because I'm, I always make films for them because of mm. them and because of my people and uh, of course when when they see the movie and we talk about it together we hug and we cry together and I hope. Uh, I hope uh, it, it will be soon. <laughs> uh, so, none, none of them have seen it. Like, no. have, have, like not even one. They haven't been able to tell you anything. What, what do they say, or how do they feel about it in the filmmaking process, though? Of course, they. It, it was very hard for them. Of course, people uh-huh. who, who is not in film business, they don't right. understand how really hard making film is. Yeah. And uh, taking so much time, you have to repeat things, and. Uh, remember a lot of things and uh, it, it's really hard and I think it was like surprise for them <laughs> so but I think because now it's one year from the shootings I think they they have been forgetting how hard it was and now they have uh, uh, will have the reward to see the film yeah that would be beautiful so which uh, filmmakers have had the most influence on you for this particular project? Uh, <laughs> uh, as I mentioned, my own previous yeah. film, I was inspired of course, by, by of that course. old material. Yeah. And I don't know. I love all the like old, uh, uh, old black and white movies mm-hmm. that I have been watching. Of course, film his- in film history. Yeah. But also. Can you give me an example? Mm, like Bergman. Which? Ingmar Bergman. I don't know. Like Persona, is he? I, yeah. I, Ingmar Bergman. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Of course, he's the most part of my accent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <right. laughs> yeah, uh, of course. Yeah. He's the greatest, and I, uh, yeah, I'm. What is? But but now when then we have this police, uh, like. I love the Virgin Spring. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a great one. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are so many. Yeah. Yeah, but also like Pavlikovsky movies, and he's doing black oh, and white. Pavli- Pavlikovsky. Oh, I don't know who that is. Okay, but Polish uh, European. Nice. Uh, okay. Amazing film director. So Ooh, yeah, I'll also, check him out. Yeah. Yeah. Check it. Uh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Definitely black and white for mm. sure. Huh? Um, so. Um, What's the movie like? You said it for the community. It was hard for them to relive uh, this traumatic experience. Did you ever have uh, issues with your own mental health while making this movie? Did you ever get depressed? <laughs> oh yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah, probably a little bit every day, huh? Yeah, yeah, because it's also my trauma. Yeah. Because uh, this is a like a transgenerational trauma for us. Right. Yeah. Right. This. And uh, th- all these things happen to my mother's generation, mm-hmm. and uh, I have a lot of stories from my mother's mm-hmm. life, and also I'm in the film myself, of course. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in uh, a way. Yeah. And uh, I think all my generation understand this uh, this pain that we many of uh, al- almost all of our generation uh, lost our native language. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah, because our mothers and fathers, they didn't speak it to us anymore. So we have this very small language. We have like 300 people still speaking our native language. Mm-hmm. So it's really crazy. small. Yeah, and yeah. it was crazy to make a film with that language. Uh-huh. Well, that's great though. <laughs> that, that way it live on, right? Yeah. Well, I thank hope. you very much for your time. It was nice okay. to talk to you. Uh, thank you. To, tell me about uh, what you think about Toronto. Oh, amazing uh-huh. place! Yeah. yeah, this is my fifth time here, and I always right. love it. It's my favorite big city. Oh wow! Yeah. Lucky us. And uh-huh. I love this festival. Oh yeah. yeah. And you did hot dogs, and what was the other one you said you did? Images. 
Uh, the hot dogs, yeah, last time, six, seven years ago. Oh, so nice. it's been time. Well, yeah. we're lucky to have you back. Thank you so Thank much you. for your time. Thank you.